You guys just gotta watch this video. people and we are back with another episode of southeast kentucky relic hunters we're back here i got me a cool little piece of iron guys i'm excited and you want to see why it's been raining for about three days good and heavy this place is getting a little green now but look at stuff like this this big old iron spike nice and rained on just sitting there didn't even see that before we were finding surface coins before i found two indian heads well, one was laughing at me on the surface. Let's see how we do. On to the first hole. Hey guys, I am back. And I am searching this out. It sounded so pristine. I mean, I'm not on a very high setting, so that could pretty much be anything from copper, copper and up. I see it. And what is this? It's heavy, guys. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. You know what this is, guys? This is another little lead figurine. It might be another Charlie Chaplin. It might be one of his friends. I am missing the head though. Maybe I could find it in the hole. Uh, oh wait, I'm actually getting a target in here, guys. I might find his head. And it ain't big. Please be his head. Oh, is that it? It's not. Oh, it's a nail. I might look around a little for his head. But that is so cool. What a way to start the day. On to the next hole, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm literally about a foot from my other hole i just flipped this reached down and popped it we're looking at the same thing so far this oh what is this it's a part to something man i thought for sure that was a little copper goblet i saw it sitting just like that I'll have to clean that up and find out what this is. It might still be something cool. On to the next hole. Hey guys, I'm back. Just working this line. I got roundness in the hole. Oh. Looks like another compact cover. Which is still cool. This one's a little more ornate than the last one. Got some designs in there. You can see the clip. The clasp. Right there where it all went together. Cool. I'll take it. On to the next hole. Hey guys, it's only been a couple minutes and I'm back. I found something that looks like it's going to turn out to be super awesome. Very cool. I'm not sure what it is yet, but it's heavy. Possible bag seal. I see some writing on there. And as I dig this, my dad says he also found something really cool just now. Let's check it out, guys. I'm getting excited. What'd you get, Daddy-O? What's going on, YouTube? That is a 69 caliber three ringer that has been fired and hit something. 
Oh, good find. Feel that. That thing is a monster. That's bigger than 54, 58. Oh, wow. That's heavy. That's a big boy. There's a lot of lead there. I mean, you can see the rings definitively. Oh, yeah. In the back end's King Cave. That's a Civil War bullet, folks. That's a beautiful relic is what that what is. You Dude, check this out. Bag seal, maybe? Oh. Right? No. Oh, no. It's got writing on no, it. No, it's exactly what it is. Bag seal? Well, it's L and N. Oh, no way. Yeah. An L and N bag seal? I think so. It's got writing on it, whatever it is. It's a lead bed bag seal. I definitely see letters on here. Guys, we're all going to have to wait up for the cleanup here. But that was exciting. Way to go for a twofer, father. On to the next hole. It's only been a couple seconds. I just got back to my detector and my dad said something about a beautiful artifact. What is that? What is that? That looks work to me. Oh, buddy, it might be. No way. Oh, there's oh, the Knox. Most of it's there. It's, oh, cool. It's broke, but that there's a work point. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I love finding these. Hey, relics aren't just metal. That's cool. What a good addition to our little twofer. I love it. Woohoo! Man, if that was hole, that would be perfect. We're having such a good morning. On to the next hole. Hey, guys. My dad says he's got a filmer. Uh, it was. It was a beautiful oh. part to a fork, but it broke when it came out of the ground. Look at that. A little delicate piece and could, probably a show piece it probably wasn't used i could probably glue that though it's still kind of cool it's a very petite fork or spoon hey i like old yeah, yeah old silverware all right things are just getting excited we've only really just started guys been here a half hour. not even a half hour let's keep going hey guys it just got a little bit interesting i just pulled a coin where'd it go I had it sitting here. Good old pinpointer. There it is. Oh, got it stuck on there. All right, let's see what we got. A little corroded penny so far. Oh, Alex got a Lincoln. That's okay. They're not always good, guys. On to the next one. Hey guys, I guess me and dad are competing. We're competing because he just said he's got very possibly looks like silver. one of his best bucket listers. It looks like silver and it's small, like smaller than a dime. Oh, sorry guys. <gasps> like, there we go. Like trime size? I, I don't know. Look, I think that's a silver coin. See? I don't know. Oh, oh, dude, that's... It's round. It's round? Ha! <laughs> what do we, oh, my God. Please be a trime. Never found one. It's small enough, man. Oh, my Lord. Oh, dude, I see grooves. I see American oh, oh. coin grooves. Oh! Oh! No way, dude. How what? awesome. What do we got? Oh, it's seated it's half a dime! It's seated half dime! That's not a bucket lister for you, though. You found one before in Oregon. Oh my lord. That is beautiful. You know, that's gotta be one of the hardest Let's American coins. Look how small it is. Let's is that puddle it. still over there? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna watch this off. See, this has gotta be one of the smallest American silver coins. Well, the smallest coin size. ever. There's Smaller than a dime. Dude, there's detail all over this. Oh my lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to capture all this pretty good, guys. I'm sorry, my phone's pretty dirty. I get muddy when I do this. <laughs> oh, how convenient to have a pool of water right here. Look at that beauty. I can't believe it. One of the hardest to find This coins. is my oldest silver. Is it? What is the date? 1839. Here, let me see. Let's think, get a close up here. I think. I don't know if it has a mint mark. What is it? I can't tell from the camera. I'm getting hit with the sun directly. 
Uh, it is an 1860, my friend. 1860? Yes, a beautiful 1860. Civil War, or which, right, you know, what's the back? Is there a mint mark, like a CC? Uh, um, not that I can tell. <sighs> Let me look at it with my eyes. I can't tell yet, man. We're going to have to check that out. Woo-hoo! Good job! Woo! Well, he's winning, guys. It's my second oldest silver. My first oldest silver was a seated half dime, 1857. That's just awesome. Are you kidding me? That is so awesome. Ah, what amazing morning. I looked at that, I was like, that's got to be a trine. All right, let's keep going. I just, I can't, I need to beat that. On to the next hole. Hey guys, I am back and I found something. Something round. Oh, it's got writing on it. What's this? Patriot? Is that a word on here? I think I see a word Patriot. Angie. I can't tell. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a little makeup container. A little copper makeup container. But for all I know, there's a coin in here. We'll have to wait for the reveal for that, though. On to the next hole. Hey guys, my dad kind of came over here to chat with him about the makeup case. Got a 90 signal. And he's sitting here digging this signal. We're chatting. And I start helping him find it because... Oh, buddy, that's round, man. Do you guys see that? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, is that... Could you have found your first largey? No. Oh, that looks like a token. Might be another Livingston that for the books. Yeah. Apparently those won't... There aren't a whole lot. So, I mean, as many of those as we can get. There's no hole, so I don't think it's a, a tool check. Let's, let's, go clean it up. let's go to the water. How convenient that there's just a puddle here for us. <laughs> well, because it was pouring all night. Well, you know. That's a great thing, though. All that rain's really bringing things out. Just looking around, guys, you see porcelain and, and glass. Things that we didn't see before just shining, smiling back up at us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is that the same? No, this is Pennington. Pennington? One dollar Livingston. One dollar token. Dude, that's a one dollar. He got yeah. the same as mine, but his is so much prettier and it's got a date. I see 1909. Woohoo! Do you guys see that? Are you kidding me? Why does he always got to one-up me, guys? Now his example will replace mine in the data records because... Oh, they might both be in there. Well, they might both be in there, but yours is a better example. Everything's here. Dude, mine was corroded. This is beautiful. That is so awesome. It's still copper colored. Are you kidding me? Wow. And it's got a date. 1909. I don't know if that's when it was printed. You trade something system... Pennington, T.J. Pennington, Livingston. This is not cold script. This is an actual store token. Oh, wow. So it is a little different then. Mm -hmm. Good for a dollar in trade. There's no coal company on here. It has a date, and though. It's P.J. Pennington. I wonder if that 1909. date... 1909. This town was only uh, established in 1886. Dude. Yeah. What a morning. Woo. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's keep going. Hey guys, I'm back. Check this out. I thought it was just a nasty old chunk of iron and I started picking at it. This is a big old iron padlock. Neat. I've learned to really give everything a nice little inspection before you toss it. Out here, man, a couple we just took chances on and cleaned up turned out to be something entirely unexpected. So let's keep going, guys. On to the next hole. Hey, guys. We are back. And my dad's got something. I got lead. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Well, hello. 50, you still real quick? 54 caliber. Drop three ringer. Nice, man. That's pretty. That'll go in a frame. Yes, it will. Uh, man, another three ringer. 
Well, I was doing real good. It's hot. I'm sweating, but I'm winning. And like he said, it's hot. We're sweating, but he's winning. I'm going to keep trying. On to the next hole. Hey, guys. I'm back. I started botting feeding Dad. He's in the spot that I was doing so good on. Uh, yeah, last video was morning. The early hunt. All those three ringers, everything I got, that's right where he's at. And I got a small target. And I think I see part of it. And it's shiny, like silver. Oh, I think I just covered it back up. I see it. I see Oh, no way. That's so heavy. Guys, this is an earring. I think this is a solid silver earring. This is chunky silver. This is so heavy. That's so awesome. All right, Alex got some silver. Woohoo! Man, that's a good chunk of silver, too. On to the next hole. Hey, guys. Do you remember how I was talking about how it was odd we hadn't found any silverware out in this old area? Well, here we are. Finally. A nice old spoon. Little rat tail. Well, probably not a rat tail. Still a cute old spoon. I'm happy with that. Heck yeah, on to the next hole. Hey guys, check this out. Another old padlock with the key cover. And everything. That's one relic for the restore bucket. Cool. Man, so many firsts. Just so exciting. On to the next hole. Hey guys, look at that beastie. It went right on by. I don't think it's going to drop on me. I really don't care if it does. See, I'm prepared for all that noise. Look what I just dug. Looks like an old flat button to me. Oh, wow. It's got designs on it, too. A little star design pattern going all the way around it. I don't know if that's a shank or not, though. Give me a second here. If it is a shank, it isn't full shank. The shank's gone. I will take a beautiful little old button, though. I like buttons. On to the next hole. Hey, guys, we're back. And my dad said he got something cool. I think he yelled out button. That's an eagle cuff button. Part of one. We found a couple of these. They're beautiful little pieces. Still got some of the gilding on it, but the back's broke off. But Still a nice old button. Yeah, maybe half inch deep. Gotta love it. How can you not? On to the next hole. Well, we might take a quick break due to this guy. I might not. We shall see. Hey, guys. We had to wait out the rain for a little bit. So it's about 20 minutes later. We come back. Another beautiful horse tack piece. I love iron when it can frame. On to the next hole. Hey guys, a little surface find. Ring on the machine, I look down. Little old tail to a spoon or a fork. Shows age. I'm on a different side, we haven't worked as much over here, but there's an old cellar right there. On to the next hole. Hey guys, I'm back. I can't believe it. I got another one and he's got his head on him. It could be a Charlie Chaplin or one of his buddies. Man, these are going to be fun to clean up. That is so cool. Oh man, this thing likes lead. On to the next hole. Yeah. Hey guys, we are back. And my dad called out button. Cute little flat button, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a nice cute little it. flatty uh, full shank. Yeah. Very cute, it's yeah. Bent. It's all there. Yeah. I like flat buttons. Me too. I like buttons when we were in Oregon and we were just digging modern, different buttons. Not here. Not here. here. This is a dream for us. And what are we doing? Off to the what? Off to the next hole. There we go. Hey, guys. Well, one of those times I really wish that I had live dug it. I got a cute little buckle, but I'm swinging, right? And there's a big clump of dirt next to it, just like this, just sitting right there. And that's where my signal was coming from. It was like I had dug it already. So I grabbed it, and I crushed it, and that was just sitting in my hand. How cool is that? Man, I wish I would live dug that. That would have been really cool to watch. 
I love buckles. On to the next hole. Hey guys, Dad said he got. Oh, I see what he got. It's a GI Joe hovercraft, man. Neat, right? He got himself a little boat. I have dug a thousand Matchbox cars and Tootsie toys and planes and ships and lead this and lead that, but in all honesty, I can honestly say I have never dug a GI Joe hovercraft. <laughs> That's right. Hey man, bucket listers come in all shapes and forms. It's not a bucket lister, but it, will, <laughs> but it will go with some of my toys that are whole. It's whole. Yeah. Hey, a fine's a fine. I like it. What do we say? I don't know. Really? What do we say? Come on. What do we say? On to the next hole. Yeah, Dad got himself a little car. Look at this. Looks like some kind of little rescue vehicle. Oh, it doesn't look like they made it, though. We'll keep these guys in our thoughts. They did us a good service. <laughs> uh, on to the next hole. All right, guys. Very possibly the last hole of the day. I'm, fre I'm freaking out here. My dad's over there freaking out. Let's see why. My knock that never hits 90 unless it's a half dollar or bigger. Like that copper uh, token you saw me hit, that was a 90. This thing was screaming 90, and I was like, well, okay, maybe a cop or something. Look! <laughs> oh! Yeah, I see it poking on out. What do we got? Oh, buddy, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a barber! Oh! Oh, man! It's a barber quarter! We Let's just dug a barber on camera. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. This first, first silver quarter with my Nocta. I've only had it for about four months. This place could be gone next weekend. We're not sure when they're going to build on it. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. We're rescuing as much history as we can. I think we've been doing pretty good. Let's see how this buddy turns out. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Ah. Can you get a date? I see 19, the date. 14. 1914. Shiny silver. Oh, she actually got a lot of detail left on the back. Can't quite see the shield. I don't see a mint mark, but flip that over. There we go. That's clean, full liberty. Oh man, that is just heartbreaking and amazing at the same time. And it's the last hole of the day. We gotta go. That's I might come back shit. later. <laughs> Good job. First quarter with the Nocta silver quarter. I can't believe that. He's got to stop winning. I thought it was just gonna be junk. I thought it was gonna be a can. Or a big chunk of copper. And then I flipped it and I, and I was like, oh God. Yeah. I'm going to be hearing about this one for a while. For the rest of his life. Until I get me a silver quarter. Look at that. Look and either until the next hole or until next time. An inch deep. Hello, everybody. Of course we came back. Why wouldn't we come back? I just dug my first target. I'm not kidding. This is my first target. Since we got back, it wasn't a can. <laughs> it's another Livingston token. You've got to be kidding me. They've already added the one that we found earlier this morning uh, to the record books. My dad has the only known example. That is exciting. Awesome. That is just awesome. <laughs> On to the next hole. Hey, guys, it's not even a few seconds later. Honest. Check this out. I popped the plug off and it was just laying in a hole just like that. Another cold pickers check tag. Awesome. Another beautiful relic for the puck. What a way to start out the afternoon. On to the next hole. Hey guys. It's raining a little bit. I don't care. This is iron. It's round and there ain't a hole in the middle. Interesting. Very, very odd. I'll see if I can find anything on it. I doubt it, though. It's crusty. Interesting, though, right? On to the next hole. Hey, guys. We got Rob with us. He said he found a token. Is that laying right here on top of the ground? Yeah, a surface token. There it is. I just moved a stick, and there it was. I love the surface finds out here. 
It's aluminum. It might be crusty, but uh, uh what's that say? Days something. It's a Dayton, Ohio, one dollar. You can see the one dollar on it's oh, a little dot, but who cares? The fronts. Yeah. I don't care. As, as long as there's letters on it, right? Oh, something yeah. that defines oh, yeah. Here it. Here we go. Uh, something credit. Check credit. Might clean up pretty good. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well. She just barely survived. You just barely saved her. We'll clean that up and check that out later. You can't be picky with him, sir. It's fine. No, sir. All right. On to the next Come hole. All right, I just got done walking away from this guy. And he yells three ringer. Oh, yeah. That's definitely the back to the three ringer. Oh, it's mushroom. It's been fired. It's hit something hard. That's actually kind of a cute little mushroom, though. That's frame worthy. Oh, yeah. yeah. First nice. Time we're looking at all this site, so I'll take it. Good job. Well, all of a sudden, Rob's starting to kill it. I might have to bottom feed off him. On to the next hole. As I'm walking along, bottom feeding. Anyway, it's a surface bucking ball. Look at that. Cute old ammunition. On to the next hole. Hey guys. We're all together for this one. My dad just called out silver for I the third I, time today. I, think I got another silver in the hole. Where? Right here. You guys see that? Oh yeah. Yep. Peeking its little head out. Oh wow. Oh, that's silver. Yeah. That's gonna be silver. Oh, it's small silver. What did he get this time? It's a uh... dude. I don't know. What the hell? Oh, what, the heck? Off. what the heck? What the heck? Family friend to show for. I hope that's not a great bus. Kind of looks great, bust. I'm just saying. Shield on the back. Mm. Oh my goodness. What is it? What did you do? Man, that's oh. sad. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Let's hold it. What did you do? I cap busted it. Did you I seriously? You, not Drake bust. Cap bust. I told you. No way. 18. 23. Are you kidding me? 1823. Let me see that, that puppy. Oh, no, you can't hold this just yet. Well, what? We gotta take turns. <laughs> that's my oldest that's a, silver that's coin. 1823. Bust dime. Cat bust dime. Cat bust dime. That is a fucking You've right gotta there. be and kidding me. Silver. Oh, that's sweet. An inch. And we've ever won. Look at this. Holes everywhere. We won. That is over. just amazing. It's sniper coil. I get in between the metals. And it was just, oh, wow. You've got to be kidding me, wow. man. We were talking about that on the way over here. I said, I'd love to find a cap bust. Man, he got the trifecta. Wow. He did good. <sighs> Look at his face. That's the face of a man that pulled three old silver American coins. Are you kidding That's me? That's the face of a man that didn't, and I'm with him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I never thought I would ever find a coin like this wow. going from the West Coast. That's great. That, that's, my, that's my oldest that's coin. Great. And silver. I've never even found a, a copper coin that old. That beats your largey. No, I don't think it beats the largey. It's, it beats it in date. I, don't know if I, bring up my I can't catch a break today. I'm finding amazing stuff, and he's just finding more amazing stuff. <laughs> I ain't leaving it there. On to the next hole, guys. We got about another half hour out here. Yeah. So that was pretty crazy. Absolutely amazing. Out of 40 years of detecting, it was my father's best ever trip. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Other than, obviously, again, I got stomped. Check it out, guys. Let's start with mine. I did pretty good. I mean, I had fun. And I got a bunch of great treasures for the pock. A bunch of great old iron. This is probably my favorite. That was unique. A big old padlock. What's the keyhole cover still there? I'm still not quite certain what this is. But I it's pretty hollowed out. I cleaned it up. 
I'm actually going to keep it. It might turn out to be something, plus I like it. Two more Charlie Chaplins. They, tur they both turned out to be Charlie Chaplin. Never did find this one's head. Anyway, some bucking ball. I couldn't get much on this, but I'm pretty certain that's a bag seal. Half of one. I love it. I could have only have dreamed of finding this stuff in Oregon. On the west coast anywhere. I believe the suspender clip. Awesome find. I like how I found that. Old pewter spoon. And it was marked H, Co, and A. Right here, if I can even focus on it. But it's right there. Possibly the other half to that same compact that I found last time. Because that was the bottom half and this is the top half. <laughs> I'm going to have to squeeze this together later and see if that's exactly what that is. Got a neat little flat button. Pretty little design. Another one. It's just like the other ten that I found except this one's thin copper. It came out a lot nicer. I'm super happy with that. I love it. I love tokens, and I really love rare tokens. Same as the last check that I found. Probably even better condition. 17 instead of what I believe. The other one's a 44. I was pretty happy about this. Man, this is heavy. It was marked SAQ, which is a vintage jewelry company, as it turns out. About as good as a sterling mark. I got some oddities, some stuff I don't know, some oddly melted lead, like this guy. I unfolded that. It was just like that. Almost looks like a jack. Accordion clip. Another tail. Yeah, so I mean, I did really good. I'm super happy with this. But you guys know what's next, right? On to this gold mine. Look at it. Look at it. Are you kidding? I felt left out in the like the third video, I believe it was, and this this is just Man, I was just happy I was there to record. Started out with the token. It's all there. Nice and heavy, solid, beautiful example. Already in the record books, guys. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. A 1914. Beautiful barber quarter. So much detail left on every one of these coins. They're all valuable. They're all valuable dates. It's ridiculous. What are the chances of finding all three of these in one day? That's ridiculous. Wow. Let's see if I can get a close up on the small guy here. Focus phone. Focus. Or be a brat. Either way. Look at that. And even a half dime. A seated. That's insane. Also one of the most beautiful three ringers I've ever seen. You can still see the mold lines on it. It's all there. That's an amazing example as well. He got some buck and ball too. Some flat. Probably a full. Nice another flat three ringer. Couple nice little flat buttons. Complete little harmonica reed. Man, yeah, he did good. He even got himself a little hovercraft. Can't complain with silver and a hovercraft, guys. And a whole bunch of pottery. Some more, Nate. 
He likes it. So I'll get him when I see him. So guys, that was literally the most amazing outing we've ever had. And I was fortunate enough to get it all on film. That's enough for me. It was just amazing. Like and subscribe if you guys learned anything or just had a good time watching. Until then, on to the next hole.